Ooh. Like, how do I freaking style pony hair so that it's like shiny and perfect and stuff? Well, it's really not that hard. It only takes about five to ten minutes worth of effort. whoop de doo But you will need some supplies, like shampoo and conditioner. Who'd have thought? Preferably something that's not going to bleach your pony's hair. You'll also need some sort of cleaner. I use bathroom cleaner to get rid of that surface dirt that comes from the factory. Ugh! Don't forget scissors. Some kind of doll brush. You can steal that from a little girl. Some hair ties, depending on what kind of style you're going for. And a pony! Woo! We're going to start out by giving our pony a bath. We're going to squirt some of this bathroom stuff on an old toothbrush and scrub gently. Be careful around the painted areas, because you definitely don't want to rub that off, but you do want to get rid of any surface dirt that's on your figure. My mom used to use soft scrub on toys when I was a kid, and so far it hasn't had a negative effect on the ponies, but you definitely do want to rinse these things good once you finish, because you don't want any bleaching to occur. You really do have to wonder where all the dirt comes from in the factory. I mean, do they play kickball with the ponies out in the mud before they package them up? That sounds kind of fun, actually. <laughs> Alright, after giving this sucker a good rinse in warm water, it's time for shampoo! Basically, you're just gonna take a bunch of shampoo and just glop it into the hair. You're gonna rub it until it's all sudsy. This is Derpy's favorite part. She loves bubbles. Once the hair is fully saturated, you want to take the brush and start at the ends of the hair and just brush, working your way up, getting out all the knots and tangles. And now I brush her hair, I brush her everywhere. I'm brushing Nightmare, and Nightmare don't care. And that, fillies and gentle cults, is why I look at numbers all day, and I'm not a professional singer. It's also why Derpy's singing voice is pitched out the yin-yang, because I can't sing. Alright, well now I am absolutely sick of brushing hair, so we're gonna jump on over to cutting. Now, the important thing about cutting the hair is you don't want to actually cut any length off. You just want to trim up any pieces that are way longer than the rest. You're going to do this by separating the hair into three or four different sections and then just getting those pieces that are way longer. Personally, I don't like to ever significantly cut a pony's hair. Primarily because if I ever do decide to get rid of them, then I don't want them to be devalued in any way. Now we're just going to continue sectioning off and trimming the mane and the tail. Now you're not always going to need to trim it. Sometimes everything is already one length. Now that I've finished playing with scissors and I haven't poked an eye out, it's time to rinse our pony in warm hot water. I find that hot water seems to really smooth out the hair and get out any kinks from the packaging. It's also at this stage that you need to decide which side of the head you want the hair to fall on. So brush through the hair and run the hot water over it to kind of set it in place. Alrighty, it's on to the next round. Conditioner! Get a glob, throw it on the hair, and just work it through. Once it's fully saturated, you're going to get the brush, and we're going to start brushing. Now, at this stage, you really want to have some idea of how you want the hair to look, because you're going to kind of pre-style it. Now, with the conditioner, we're going to leave it in for a couple of hours, so you might as well have the hair set. Pre-styling with conditioner in the hair makes it a lot easier to get the desired effect during the final round. Now, I'm pretty much done with the conditioner phase, so I'm just going to throw the pony aside and let it sit for like half the day. Now, I've rinsed the hair, and I've left it absolutely soaking wet, and I'm going to hold the pony with my foot. <laughs> Don't judge me, I need both hands. Now I'm going to brush through the hair, smoothing it out, and wrap it around my finger to create a little ringlet. And I'm going to very carefully unwind it. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing with the front portion of her hair. Wrap around and let it go. Now, for this piece I'm going to have to mold it a little bit because it has a mind of its own. And now I'm going to repeat the process for the third time with the tail. And voila! I am done! Now she is sopping wet, 
and will need to dry overnight. And the most important thing to remember is, once it's dry, do not touch it again, or it will go poof!